Hi, everybody. Good morning. Today is Wednesday, October 5th. I'm Dave Chidowski with your 3 News Now morning update. Thanks for spending a few minutes with me on the WKYC YouTube page. And we're going to start with Holly for a check of today's forecast. Hi there, Holly. Hey, Dave, and good morning to you. So what a beautiful day. And as we look ahead, you'll see all the clear skies started in the 30s and 40s. So we had that autumn chill in the air, but a quick warm up today into the 60s, 70s, mostly sunny skies. If you're heading to the Guardians game this afternoon or practices after school, whatever the case may be, you've got a really good one. We'll just put it that way. We have more where this is coming from tomorrow, too. So as we look ahead on your Union Home Mortgage seven day outlook, we're back in the 70s for your Thursday. Those rain chances on Friday, the good news is happening early in the day. I say good news because we could have an afternoon Guardians game. Obviously, we'll have high school football on Friday evening, so should be dry by then. Just a little chilly and then we're dry through the weekend. It'll be on the cooler side, Dave, on Saturday, then warming back into the 60s as we say go Browns on Sunday. That's right. Busy weekend ahead. All right, Holly, thank you. Akron Mayor Dan Horgan has announced that he will not run for re-election. In a statement, Horgan says his decision is not to seek a third term, is, not based on, is based on personal reasons. He went on to thank citizens for placing their trust in him as mayor. Horgan's term runs through December of next year. After his announcement, Horgan's deputy mayor, Mark Somerville, announced his candidacy for mayor of Akron in 2023. Two more East Cleveland police officers have been indicted and suspended following alleged assaults. Kyle Wood and Daniel Toomer are facing a number of charges, including theft in office, tampering with evidence, and obstructing justice. Charges stem from two separate incidents in March and April of this year and also includes two other officers who were already facing charges in another case. In total, nine East Cleveland police officers have been indicted on criminal charges since late August. A new tool to help fight crime is on the way to Lake County. Several of what are called flock surveillance cameras will be installed across high traffic areas to help give law enforcement more eyes on the road. Cameras are not used to catch speeders. Instead, they can instantly read license plates to help detect stolen vehicles, find missing persons, human trafficking situations, and a number of other crimes. Sheriff Frank Liam Bruno says it will pay off for Lake County to stay ahead. Police officers on the street but we need to give them the tools to properly handle the new type of crime being occurred today. We're farther ahead in an investigation using those. The seven new cameras will be installed across Lake County within the next 60 days. Inflation has many Ohioans stretching their budgets to the breaking point, and some families are, un are unable to keep food on the table. Governor Mike DeWine plans to spend $15 million in stimulus funds on Ohio food banks, but the need is still great. This money isn't just helping feed low-income families. The money is also going to what the food banks are consistently low on, which is meat eggs and dairy products, all of which will now only come from Ohio-based growers. Food banks are facing a severe gap in food donations, and these funds from the American Rescue Plan Act are only making a dent in what is needed. And one local pantry is in need of more than just food after the van used to transport thousands of pounds of food was stolen. On Saturday around noon, the volunteer general manager for Good Neighbors Food Pantry in Akron arrived at the pantry and found the gate to the driveway unlocked. That's when he realized the white cargo van with Good Neighbors painted across the side, which is typically parked underneath a carport next to the pantry, was gone. The frustration is felt not only by volunteers, but those who use the food pantry as a resource. To steal something that's so needy from the people that give the needy something, and it's just bad. Three to four days a week, we take that van to the food bank and pick up, uh, it was rated, it would hold 3,800 pounds of food. The van has been used for the past eight years to transport thousands of pounds of food, serving about 750 families a month. Pantry is now accepting any leads on a used van for sale and monetary donations towards buying a replacement. Akron police are investigating. Gas prices are going up again. We already saw more than four bucks a gallon across Cleveland yesterday. AAA says nationwide prices rose seven cents over the past week. Association cites repairs to many refineries out west and the deadly BP refinery fire in Toledo a few weeks ago as the cause of the spike. That Toledo plant could be down for months. Gas demand is also increasing as we get closer to the holiday months. Well, Friday is World Smile Day, and it seems like Cleveland will have a lot to smile about when the Guardians take on the Rays in the wildcard series. 
But according to a new study, Cleveland isn't smiling enough. Shiny Smile Veneers analyzed 15,000 Instagram photos in the 50 largest U.S. cities to determine the most and least smiley cities. And Cleveland came in at number six on the list of cities that smile the least. <laughs> Many of the cities that smile the least were located in the Midwest as well as the East Coast. Uh, come on, I don't buy it. Did they get a picture of me? No, I don't think so. Or you at home. We love Cleveland. All right. Well, thank you for taking the time to join me for this 3 News Now morning update. Our digital team will continue to bring you the stories making headlines around Northeast Ohio and the world. Make sure to continue to check our social media pages and WKYC.com throughout the day. I'm Dave Chodowski, and for Holly Strano, I'll see you again tomorrow morning on Go starting at 5 a.m. Have a great day.